Woo, is it my get to family? It's your boy Lynn today, step into my life, right? First of all, I don't, I wish nothing but positivity, abundance, blessings to anybody that comes across this video. Um, I am so irritated right now because a dude still has COVID. Um, literally right before I got on the, uh, started this video, I just got some news like from my, uh, one of my homeboys, they're in the studio. They got to connect with this videographer, photographer. They're calling me trying to uh, set up the play. I can't do nothing. I have COVID, bro. It's like, I understand the universe makes no such thing as mistakes, but, and they always say, instead, even in my videos, I would be contradicting myself if I was like, ooh, ooh, but I always say things are happening for you, not to you. So I don't know why me having COVID is happening for me. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and act like I got the answers. You don't got the answer, Sway, head ass. No, but, um, God, I don't like COVID. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, this is not the move. But no, that wasn't even what I was going to talk about. What I was going to talk about is, um, for those who don't know, there's this music festival called Rolling Loud. It was, uh, it happened this weekend. And, um, you know, whether you're underground artist or whether you are, you know, a uh, mainstream artist, everybody goes to it, right? One day I'm going to perform. Mark my words. Deadass. LTG, Lane the Gifted. I'm being deadass. I'm going to perform at that show, at that showcase. But nonetheless, um, you know, shout out to all the artists that went out there. Shout out to Little Baby, DDG, Blueface, uh, Sleepy Hollow. I got love for everybody that went up there, to be honest with you. Um, I saw Pac-Man, he ate a donut off a girl's butt, <laughs> and apparently his girl, uh, told him, <laughs> uh, apparently he got his clothes and everything in front of the that's not funny, that's actually pretty fucked up, but no, like, I saw a lot of good performances, and of course, I saw Koi Lee Ray, and Koi Lee Ray, she's a cool female artist that's, uh, popping off, right, you know, she has her hit, No More Parties, and, you know, I feel like, and this is going to be dedicated to her, right? I feel like there's so much hate around her. It's like the cool thing to hate on her. You know what I'm saying? And I really try to get why, you know what I'm saying? Because if people actually take the time to listen to her music, it actually goes hard. It's different. And just like maybe some food or some type of wine, it has a peculiar taste. It has like, I can see how some people wouldn't like it. But for you to just straight up not accept it or just be like, it's ass, I feel like that's highly unnecessary because she obviously has a certain fan base, you know what I'm saying? It's not like she's just there just to be there, you know? And this is like for not just musicians, this is just for anybody who has their own Zoop and who is just original, right? The pioneers of whatever they got going on, right? Don't ever feel the need to change what you got going on. Don't feel the need to like, say for instance, you know, when you were a kid back in preschool or kindergarten, when they had like those shapes, like those, those type of toys where if you had like, say a triangle, you try to, ah, uh, shit, hold on. My bad, y'all. Uh, my stepmom called, just checking up on me. You know, I still got COVID, but, um, no, the hell? Um, yeah, no, so back to what I was saying, right, about Koi LeRae. And I just saw on Instagram, shout out Blackie Speaks, but I just saw, oh, dang. dang, bet, bet. My manager just said, um, I could low-key go back because there's not a certain procedure with this shit. But, you know, I'm not trying to affect nobody. I'm going to, I'm going to low-key try to rest and heal up a little bit more. I'll give it a few more days because CVS said I got to wait 10 days from when I got my symptoms. And I think today's what? Um, the 28th or something. And I started feeling like crap. I don't know the exact day I started feeling like crap. You know how you just, you don't really notice stuff, but then one day it's just like stuff just doesn't feel right. So, and I didn't get my test results back until the 22nd. So it's all types of weird stuff going on, man. But um, anyways, 
nonetheless, about Koi Lure, right? Lire. I hope I'm saying her name right. I just saw that Blackie just said in a post, she's not for the music industry. And honestly, yo, if you want to know my opinion, even though, you know, who am I, right? <laughs> We're in the 21st century, United States of America, First Amendment, what I got to say, my opinion. I feel like if you're talented and you're bringing positivity, you know what I'm saying, and you're encouraging people to live in their truth and you're encouraging them to enhance their abilities and their talents, I mean, I feel like you should deserve to be in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Koi definitely has her own sound. I feel like she's definitely someone who could uh, benefit in the industry as far as like just sh showing people, a, sh just putting a, her own spice in the culture. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's the cool thing to hate on her and bash on her because, you know, we live in a society where we're surrounded by sheep, a bunch of followers, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I saw in her Rolling Loud performance, people was not messing with her. And I think there was another performance where, you know, the crowd wasn't moving. But that's the thing, too, bro, because if someone if people who was because I was watching the whole um, Rolling Loud performance live, I was watching all I, I miss a couple performances, but I saw Koi Lire, right? And people always like to show the bad parts. No one likes to show when she was in the crowd and like actually ha turn, having everybody turn up. You know what I'm saying? They're just now trying to show those type of clips. But you know how it is. The media is a powerful tool, bro. People always want to show. <coughs> they always want to show the negative side. Nobody wants to show the positive side. <coughs> so it's like my thing is this, yo. Don't ever 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 let someone try to shake you bro like don't ever like and this is for the artist this is for you don't even have to be a musician if you're an athlete if you're just anybody if you're an educator if you are just someone who has your own zoop and you're confident in yourself right you just gotta stand on that like whoever you are as a person as a woman as a man whoever you are whatever you stand for you gotta just rock with that yo because People is not going to mess with you until everybody messes with you. I guarantee you, let Koi get like a Nicki Minaj feature. Let Koi get a certain feature. Or heck, let her make another No More Parties or like something that's obviously lit. I guarantee you people are going to be fake and they're going to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like people are fake, yo. You got to like just do what you got to do. And I will say this about Koi though. Like, okay, what I was saying, whoever you are, you got to stand on that. You know, if you uh, read 48 Laws of Power, one of the laws is you don't acknowledge the fuckery. You don't acknowledge that. You let people, because you got to think you're an artist. You're the icon. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, like, lower your standards by hopping in the comment section or, you know, addressing it. Especially when you don't have to. You, you Like, they look up to you. They look to you. Even if they don't want to admit it, like, regardless, Koi, you don't know those haters. They know you, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, don't acknowledge them because you're giving them power. You have to move like a boss because at the end of the day, you are a boss. You have your own brand. Don't give a fuck what these niggas be saying because they're just haters. Like, like what? You got everything going for you. And I know they were talking trash about her uh, freestyle, whatever, whatever. People are going to talk regardless, man. You have to stick to you. Stick to your plan. And this is for all the Coil Rays out there that thinking like, man, why is people hating on me? They hate on you because they're not you. They hate on you because they don't like how confident you are within yourself. And that being said, if you really are confident within yourself, you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. You're Koi Larray. Like, stick to that. Don't acknowledge haters. Don't try to prove people, oh, I can rap. We know you can rap. We see you rap. <laughs> Just rap. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. And some people were saying, um, I'm not going to lie. I don't listen to all her music, but I, I, 
I acknowledge good talent when I hear it. And, you know, it could have been also her performance as far as like when you do perform, you got to obviously play the songs that people know. Apparently, you know, people were saying she was performing certain songs that people wasn't aware of. And that can have something to do with it, too, especially when you're a new artist. You know, people are already like, who are you? And if you play certain remixes or just certain new songs that people aren't aware of, people aren't going to be, you know, rocking with it. And that's all fine and good. I mean, you you win some, you lose some. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all a learning curve. It's all a learning process. You know what I'm saying? But you have to stick to the script. You have to, whoever you are, like whoever you are, when you wake up and you look at yourself in the mirror, like, okay, if you're Coy LeRae, you have to be Coy LeRae. Don't sit there and try to prove yourself. You have nothing to prove. You already are, you're already doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to just buckle down and just stay in the studio, make hits. You know what I'm saying? Make dope ass visuals. And just boss up, like just enhance your brand because people are going to gravitate. The right ones are going to gravitate to what you got going on. All the other haters, they're wishy-washy anyways. Those are the type of fans you don't even want anyway because they're just a bunch of followers. Like, man, anybody who's a pioneer at whatever they got going on, people are not going to acknowledge it until other people in the game start acknowledging it. Because, you know, people follow those people. And once they start seeing, oh, so-and-so is messing with Koi, then that's like, it's a, it's cool. Like they're approved to, to be able to get messed with, if that makes sense. But I don't know, y'all. I feel bad for certain artists like that because it's like, you know what I'm saying? God forbid she starts to really get in her head and she starts to either stop doing music or she does something to herself, even though I'm sure she's will-minded, strong-willed minded, and she won't do anything like that. But we... Like certain people attack certain artists like that. And then when they go MIA, then people have the nerve to be like, where did she go? What happened? Y'all bash the shit out of her. I wouldn't want to do that shit either if people kept attacking uh, me like that. But it's like you got to you just can't give a fuck, bro. Whether in the rap game or in life, you can't give a fuck because as soon as you give them that power, that's when they just like a bully. If you give the bully power, believing that, oh, I can say this or do this to him, and I know that's going to take them off their, uh, that's going to give them a detour. I know that's going to, like, take them off course. That's when you know you lost, but you can't give them that power. You have the power within you. I don't know. It just really pisses me off how people are followers, man. Like, Coyle Ray. Most likely she won't watch this video. I doubt it. (laughs) But um, just anybody, if you, as long as you believe in yourself and as long as you know what you got going on, that's all that matters, man. You got to really believe in your own power. You got to really look within yourself. And those, these are the type of moments, Coilere, I feel like you got to just look back at like what made you start doing this in the first place. And, you know, obviously I can't speak on that. Like everybody has their own reasoning and reasoning to step hop in the uh, rap game. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I just want just like my brand lift the gift. Like I just want people to understand they all have gifts within themselves and they just have to lift it. You have to realize what did you start doing this for? You did this. Obviously, she I feel like. Because she seems like a genuine good person, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like obviously she's doing it for her fans. She's doing it for the people who are just good. They just want to listen to good music. And she makes, cultivates good music. So just stick to the script. People Let people uh, gravitate towards you. You don't have to force anything. That's that's what my uh, one thing my dad did tell me. Don't ever force anything. Anything that's meant for you and anything that's uh, meant to happen for you good or bad, it will happen to you. Obviously, we're talking about the good aspect of it. Like whoever's meant to be in your life for the better, they will gravitate towards you. Uh, Music opportunities, whatever is meant to uh, gravitate towards you, it will happen to you. You just have to believe in yourself, man. You have to really look within yourself and understand that no one, and I mean no one, can stop you on your journey, on your destiny, as long as you don't allow them to. But as long as you let them get in your head, 
because your mind is a powerful tool, man. Whatever you, because whatever is outside of your, uh, of your reality is within your reality. Like everything that you see within your mind, with your vision is like, just, it's in your mind, man. Like, you know, whatever the energy you put out is the energy you receive. So if you put out good, positive energy, you're going to manifest and see nothing but good, positive energy. But as soon as you let that negativity creep into your mind, that's when everything starts to fall, bro. That's when everything starts to consume you and devour you. The negative darkness, man. And a lot of these haters don't want to. I mean, you know what it is. Haters don't want to see you win. That's why you got to win anyway. But Koi, just know there's people out here that love you. There's people out here that actually enjoy hearing your music. So don't feel the need to you have to switch up or change yourself because I feel like God forbid she tries to change up her sound or she's trying to do something different and then people are going to call her out even more. I mean, you know, people are going to talk shit regardless. People are always going to want to be picky and choosy and just try to just nitpick and you're never going to satisfy everyone. You know what I'm saying? Never. So don't get in that loophole, that rabbit hole of trying to impress everybody because people aren't going to fuck with you even more. Just stick to what you got going on and everything will benefit you in the in the end. Um, that's about it, y'all. It's your boy Lane today. You stepped into my life. Stay blessed. Stay gifted and stick to your own script. Do not try to follow the crowd. Do not try to impress people and force anything and go out of your way to please everyone because that's just going to screw you up. Screw you up. So uh, that's it. Stay blessed. Stay gifted. I need Baba. Peace.